everybody. Today I'm going to share with you how I do the decorative stitching around my hexes. Here's a project that I had done a couple years ago and it shows what I call the double blanket stitch around each of the hexes. And here is the back as well. It looks really pretty. So you eliminate having to hand stitch your hexes together and then quilt them. It, it does the same process together. So first of all, I just take my, um, actually my backing and my front, and I iron it to a fusible batting. Now this is really helpful because you can see it's really um, stable, and it's super easy to sew with. And I use fusible batting on almost all of my projects because it just eliminates having to have a whole bunch of pins around where I have to sew. And then I take my hexes that I have hand stitched around a paper piece and I press them. Then I take out the paper and place them kind of where I want them to be on my project so I have an idea where I'd like them to be. So I think I like something like this. And then I just start with the first few. So. I've centered my middle one in the center of the fabric and then I start with my first one and then my next one and I just get them close together. You can use a pin to just tack it down if you like. Now you can't see right now but I just have different settings on my machine and this is just one of the decorative stitches that I have and then I just start to sew it through all the layers. See how I move to the next little area here and then when I'm just about to the next spot then I decide which was the next one I wanted to use I think it was this one then I place it in and sometimes I will just set it there sometimes I'll pin it and then I just continue on sewing and sometimes you're gonna need to pick up your presser foot and move it to another spot but as you can see in the back of this, it doesn't make a difference. It looks like it's a flow of stitching and it looks really beautiful. So right now I'm just going to pull this out so I can show you. So there's the little stitching. And for this project, I sort of cheated a little bit. And what I did is I actually used small scraps that I had and I ironed steam a seam to the back of them. And then I just took my hexy piece here, I'll just show you, with some non-sewing scissors, I cut them out. Just around right up against the edge. And then once they're cut out, you have your hexy shape. Then I just simply peel off the back and I just stuck it to the front of my project and did the same thing. Did the little decorative stitching around and you have your hexy look without all of the work. If you have any questions or you would like me to show another video, please just comment and I will be happy to do so. Thanks for watching.